In this quick video, let's go ahead and examine the four major domains that we're going to be working with here in the AWS Cloud Practitioner course. The first major domain, it's the one that I think students find is kind of missing from the AWS Solutions Architect world. If they jump right head first into AWS Solutions Architect Associate training, many of them feel like they miss this domain and it's just cloud concepts in general. Here, I'm going to walk you through what it really means to be cloud, right? Everyone throws that term around. It can make you a lot of money if it's in the name of your company or the name of your product. So we kind of throw the term cloud around, but what does it really mean to be cloud? How do you really qualify as a cloud solution? We'll also talk about what are the major advantages when it comes to cloud. And I'll make this all simple for you to understand with simple language that is not overly complex. The next major domain that we will tackle is security and compliance. It's a real myth that we are going to lose all this security when we move to the cloud. As a matter of fact, for many organizations, when they make a move to the cloud, their overall security posture is dramatically strengthened. So that's a great thing. And we'll talk about the security and compliance options in AWS specifically in that domain. We then move to the domain that you probably think of first when you think of the AWS Cloud Practitioner, and that is the domain on technology. So we will look at what are the major areas that AWS can do for us in IT and what are the major services in those different areas. For example, there is traditional virtual machine-based compute that we can use in the AWS cloud, but then there's also serverless compute that's capable inside the cloud. What do those mean? What are, what are those approaches? And what kind of service offerings are there? We'll delve deep into the various important cornerstone technologies of AWS in the technology section. As you might guess, it's my favorite section. This course will then wrap up with our fourth and final domain, and that is billing and pricing. While we know it is a myth that we're going to lose all this security if we go to the cloud, it's also a myth that if we move to the cloud, we'll just automatically save money. No, in fact, if we move to the cloud and we don't follow the best practices I'm going to be sharing with you in this course, then we could be in real trouble because we'll actually be spending way too much money. So yes, there is tremendous cost savings to be had inside of AWS, but it does take training to get there. And the great news is you're going to get that training in this very powerful AWS Cloud Practitioner course. Thank <laughs> you.